I just watched the movie Monkey Man with Dev Patel, and I'll tell you this, I think every Asian guy should watch that movie too. Are you ready? Yeah. We need to fight for your mother, for all of us. Just one small ember can burn down everything. Monkey Man, read R. Andrew, you're passionate about this movie. I got to read the synopsis real quick because I didn't watch it. A young man ekes out a meager living in an underground fight club where night after night wearing a gorilla mask, he's beaten bloody by more popular fighters for cash. But he's also on a revenge arc, Andrew. Why should everybody watch this movie? Yo, man, I got reasons why. But real quick, before I get into the reasons, guys, hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. 88% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, lots of Reddit posts from... The Indian Reddits, like the Desi Reddits that I go on sometimes because, you know, I want to keep, you know, up to date. They say Monkey Man is amazing. Dev Patel did a good job. Uh, a lot of reviewers on YouTube said they liked it and enjoyed it. Even though there's flaws of the movie, it's not perfect, but it's it's ultimately enjoyable. Um, and he touches on a lot of stuff. So, David, anyways, I'm going to go down the list. Here are six reasons why every Asian guy should, should watch Monkey Man, and not just Indian guys. And by the way, guys, Dev Patel was in Slumdog Millionaire, mm -hmm. and he is probably one of the most famous, like, I guess, Indian actors that goes between the Indian world, but I, I would say he's more in the Western world, but people don't view him as, like, completely Americanized, maybe the way they see Aziz Ansari. Right, right, exactly. So, uh, you know, this had a pretty small budget. It was supposed to be on Netflix at first, but then Jordan Peele, he bought the movie and then gave it a theater release, which I think it did deserve. So anyways, guys... Point number one, why every Asian guy, every Asian guy, and I'm saying Asian as Right, in, you're talking about not just South Asian. I'm not just saying South Asian. I'm saying like this Asian should also watch this movie because it is a badass, gruesome action movie starring an Indian guy in an Indian context, which I never imagined. So you got to see it from my perspective. I've never seen a badass Indian guy in a movie because I don't watch a lot of Bollywood movies. Now- also, Bollywood, David, has its own connotation of being kind of like over the top and goofy. And this movie takes on more of a serious, gruesome John Wick type level action. You know, it's that modern kind of super dark, colorized brutal. action, brutal action with lots of blood. Uh, a would lot you of say traps? Anything like uh, Ong Bak or The Raid from Indonesia? Yes, it's more like that in John Wick. So basically, It Man, John Wick, Ong Bak. That's that's kind of the, the movie. show Warrior. Yes, it's 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 so I think it's just for me not watching a lot of Indian TV and movies. It's just I've never seen an Indian guy fight so well other Indians for what he thought was right. I've just never seen a badass Indian basically in a movie before, okay? Right, right, right. So this is the first time. But if you, yeah, for sure, if we were Indian, we would have seen it, though. Yes, that's what I'm saying, though. But even other Indians say, have said that, like, yo, I either got to go go back and watch all these Bollywood movies, or maybe this is more badass it, than a lot of Bollywood movies, let's be honest. And would you say Dev Patel pulled it off? Because immediately, he's famous for dramatic and comedic roles, or even romantic comedies. You wouldn't think that he could yeah. pull this off, right? Yeah, yeah, I think he sold it pretty well. Um, obviously, I have some, watched some other movies with some other Indian actors that did actions, like uh, that movie Kandahar that I watched with Gerard Butler. It had uh, Ali Fazal. Um, but honestly, he didn't sell that role. I'm not I'm not a fan of This guy looks too Bollywoody. You know what I mean? Dev Patel kind of played this gruesome James Bond, John Wick type. Trust well, me. Well, he I'm, actually looks like Keanu Reeves, yeah. now that I think about it. That I, man I, really looked like an Indian Keanu. When... John Wick came out. I'm sure Dev Patel said to himself, oh, shoot, I, I think I could play this guy. <laughs> you know, um, point number two, uh, the character and the mythology that Monkey Man is based off the, uh, after Hanuman is actually kind of similar to the Monkey King in Chinese culture, Sun Wukong. Now, here's the thing. They're not the same character, but based on the timeline and based that on the fact that a lot of that Buddhism came from India to China, uh, probably most people believe that Hanuman was maybe the base in, uh, inspiration for the Monkey King, for Sun Wukong. So we have to acknowledge that we get, a, I mean, East Asia got a lot of culture, namely things that came along with Buddhism from India. No, it's true for sure. And I think there's way more 
I don't know. Yeah, no. Actually, both China and India have a lot of monkeys in the, in the wild. Yeah. But I want to say India might have more. So it's like, it's interesting to think about it as, I guess, a mongoloid Asian because we did get a lot of culture from India. For sure. Like, in yeah. an ancient sense. Yes, yes, Probably yes. Probably more went from India to the East Asian or Southeast Asian countries than went back. Sure, yeah, I think so. And, I mean, there's even Buddhism, uh, more Buddhism symbolism. Uh, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a Buddhist expert, but... Uh, I don't know if that's Hindu or Buddhist, but basically there's like, you know, like also uh, Thailand and Indonesia heavily in influenced by India. It's part of the Indio sphere. So that got a lot of the same Buddhism. That's why there's literally like there, I would say there's more clearly Indian influence in South, in a lot of Southeast Asia. Than well, even specifically the Southeast Asian countries that are more closer to India. Yes, to exactly. The, uh, more Theravada Buddhism. Right? Point number three, another reason why I think all Asians I, guys got to watch Monkey Man is because like Dev Patel, I think he held it down, man. And like, I know that we don't always consider Indians or every Indian person as Asian as other Asians. We talk about this on the channel, of course, all the time. Who is Asian American or South Asians just as Asian? Whatever it is. Well, Dev literally, Patel, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to break you up. But like, why would we be as Desi as they are Desi if they're as Asian as we are Asian though? I'm just saying that doesn't even make mean? any sense to con consider Asians as Asian as other Asians. Oh, no, no, I think- Are we as Daisy as they are? Right, right, right. No, 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 no. I, I do think the epicenter of what we consider Asian culture is obviously more on the, on the Eastern side. But right. what I mean is that Dev Patel, he's still recognized as an Asian actor, and I think he's a pretty good leading man. I mean, the dude was in Slumdog Millionaire. That's an Oscar-winning movie. Right. He, uh, and that was a, that's a dope movie. Yeah, and then, you know, he, he had other movies in between, but this one is like a statement piece. Like, he actually can do martial arts, so I guess he was a black belt in Taekwondo when he was 16. I don't know if it was in a competition sense or it, he was at one of those schools buying the belts, but either way, he could kind of do the movements. Like, he got some athleticism. He got the length. You can kind of right. see him. He kind of like a Sagat, kind of from from uh, 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 Street Fighter. Like, he got that length. Uh, he's 6'1", probably wingspan is 6'4". You know, so I think he held it down for Asian American men, uh, and I think he he sold it pretty well. He sold the the martial arts well. Right, right, right. Well, what is point number four? Point number four is I, I think it's important for a lot of other Asians, like East Asians or Southeast Asians, to consume some Indian material. Like, and I think we don't have to consume it all, but we got to consume the good ones. And I think this is one of the good ones, you know, because I think you get to see a lot of like their perspective, and you're gonna start to see a lot of the crossover. And the ancient culture. You're saying and, Oriental Eastern culture in a, in a very pan sort of way. Yeah, you got uh, west of the Himalayas, east of the Himalayas. What is similar? What's different? Yeah, right? even if you're one of those Asian guys that's like, oh, Indians are not Asian or whatever. If you're one of those people, that's fine. But you still like have eaten at Indian restaurants, and you've seen all this stuff, and you've seen this imagery, and it's like, dude, this movie took you there. Like, I know a lot of it was filmed in Indonesia, but essentially, it, it's it's got a lot of Indian mythology and a lot of temples and a lot of Indian culture, which I'm about to get into because point number five, it's just got Asian dynamics. Guys, like I know that it, it dealt with uh, extreme poverty and extreme wealth mm. and that juxtaposition where you could see it across the street. They have this shot in the movie where they show the slums and then the tall buildings. And it's like, that's very Asia, man. Like we get it. You've been to, if you've been to any part of Southeast Asia or even East Asia, like David, we've we've been to China. Like there's tall skyscrapers, and then you can still see like a a poor old lady like carrying a wheelbarrow. Oh, dude, of, Malaysia, you see it a lot. Uh, obviously, right. Thailand, Indonesia, or yeah, some of the Philippines. Like that whole juxtaposition between extreme poverty and extreme wealth. That's a very like Asia kind of outside of the Western world thing. Obviously, it dealt with the Indian caste system, which is a very Asian thing. Now I know that East Asia, David, we don't have an official caste system, but you would say it is classist. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Ancient cultures in general, even England, is extremely classist. Right. More than uh, the flatter, at least purported flat social structure of America. It is less classist for yeah. sure. And I think it was cool, the juxtaposition between him being in a very, very poor environment, fighting in the ring, and then him being in a suit as a server in the high-end uh, you know, restaurant or hotel or whatever it was, um, club, nightclub. So I think that juxtaposition was cool. And number six... Uh, Watch this movie because apparently people in India cannot watch it yet. It is not released in India. I don't know if it because it 
it touches on so much on corruption of India and it may be offensive to the Indian like officials or they pe think it makes, it might incite violence and like revolt from like poor people to rich people. I think like, I'm sure if you're in India, you could find a way to watch it, but apparently it's not released in India yet. Well, I heard, as far as I know. I heard it isn't released, by the way, I don't know. We I don't read know. this online. I'm sure that somebody in the comment section knows a hundred times more about this than me because it criticizes a certain brand, I guess, of Hindu nationalism that has become more, is more recent. Perhaps, you know, and, and I, you know, a lot of people describe this movie as unapologetic. So what I mean is Dev Patel went for it. Now, maybe Netflix didn't want to pick it up partially because they thought it was going to offend the Indian fan base. Well, they actually had bought it already, but they just didn't know if they were going to release it. Right, yeah. So who knows, guys? I'm just saying... I don't watch Bollywood movies because the clips that I see of Bollywood movies are always so very, very goofy. And that turns me off from it. And I'm just like, I never really had like a like someone in my life that really pushed me to go watch Bollywood movies. I might check out a few. Yeah, I wouldn't diss on them either, yeah. but it just seems so like outside of the range of what I would want right. to. Right. Just right? not for me. But Monkey Man, this movie was for me. You know, like if you right. like the show Warrior. And you kind of want to see like an Indian version of John Wick and Warrior put together. Yeah. This is kind of it. Yeah. I, I think that one thing that I noticed as somebody who didn't watch Monkey Man yet, and I'm going to uh, now that, you know, we've done this video, is that all the white reviewers that I watched on YouTube, none of them mentioned anything about showing like trans Indian people or like the more in, you know what I mean? Like in the in-depth cultural things or obviously as an Asian, I'm going to see some parts of our culture that are similar in a very ancient sense because- uh, the South Asian world and the East Asian or Southeast Asian world, we're all neighbors. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Course. And it's like, we have a second cousin who's half Indian from yeah. Hong Kong. Yeah. So we have Indian people actually in our family. So, yeah. And, and, you know, we, we grew up around Indians in the Seattle area. Like, obviously like, you know, just anybody who's, I'm just saying that like, you know, Indian people, but you've never seen a badass Indian. So it makes sense that at least every Indian guy should watch this movie. Right. And I think every Asian American guy who likes action should consider watching it too. I remember, and I didn't ask him about this yet. We had a conversation uh, with um, Hassan Minaj about mixing Bollywood dancing and break, break dancing. Because mm -hmm. he was like, man, I would love to see Asian break dancers collaborate with Indian Bollywood dancers. Yeah. So he would, yeah. we, you know, some people, they're thinking about... Yeah. Some some collabs. Yeah. And also, even from my perspective, I'm like, hey, man, Dev Patel could do it. He directed and made this movie. What if it inspires someone like Simu Liu to do it or somebody that is even... Yeah, I enjoyed it, but yeah, what if, yo, what if another Asian American did their version or did a version this badass? Ooh, an Asian American version. I'm trying like to a, Like a Chinese or, or even Korean doing something. That's, I mean, to be fair, there is a lot more Asian, Asian, like blood sport type movies. Sure, uh, sure, sure. You know there I mean? is, I guess, but I guess this Maybe one Maybe we felt, need to do the Slumdog because there he came and kind of did like a, almost like a like a Ong Bak. Right, Indians. right. This one is more based off of all John Wick, Ong Bak, and then maybe we need... Anyways. Anyways, guys, let me know if you guys watched the movie. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I just watched it recently and it was uh, reminding me just, you know, dealt with Asian spirituality, Asian poverty, Asian purpose, just, you know, revenge, martial arts, just governments and stuff, you know, stuff that other Asians can relate to. Right. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, we got to ask Kai uh, Vedith about this. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.